runners lace up those tennis shoes. The community first Fox Cities Marathon is less than a month away, and many people are preparing for the huge event. Thousands of runners and walkers will endure miles upon miles of pavement to finish the race. For months, those taking part may train for the race, and some may also run into injuries. A local medical center is offering free injury assessment clinics to those taking part in the races. I got a chance to stop by one of the clinics and see what they're all about. Good morning. We're out here at Theta Care Orthopedics Plus at the Appleton Medical Center. We're actually going to be telling you about some free injury assessment clinics that they're offering out here to people taking part in the first community Fox Cities Marathon. Right now, I am joined by Dr. Erica Kronke, who is actually going to tell us a little bit more and some actual common injuries that the races, racers are getting. So good morning, Dr. Kronke. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Well, you're going to actually demonstrate on me this morning. So show us what we're going to be talking about and what are the common injuries injuries that people will be coming in for? We see predominantly lower extremity injuries and the three most common, excuse me, three of the more common ones that we see are um, pain in the outside of the knee called IT band syndrome. So people tend to get pain that comes down here. Now the IT band, Emily, starts in the hip and comes down to the knee. So sometimes people get pain in the hip but it's predominantly down here in the knee. We also see a lot of Achilles tendon pain. So that's usually pain in the back of the ankle kind of through this area. And then the last um, very common thing that we see is plantar fasciitis, which is actually pain on the inside bottom of the heel. Great, Dr. Kronke, thank you so much. And I have Amy Flick, who is actually a physical therapist out here, who is going to be helping the people coming in for the clinics. Good morning, Amy. Good morning, Emily. So go ahead and tell us, we're going to show some stretches. Uh, tell us our first stretch we're going to see. Okay, Emily, I'm going to show you a couple of stretches first to address that pain on the outside of the knee, the IT band syndrome that Dr. Kronke mentioned. So Emily, I'm going to have you lay on your back. <laughs> and what I'm going to have you do is bend your right knee. You're going to take your left leg and cross your ankle right over your right knee. From there, using both hands, I'm going to have you pull your right thigh up towards your chest. And this will give you a stretch out in the, in the buttock region. Um, and this helps the knee because, as Dr. Kronke mentioned, this IT band starts up from the hip, and so oftentimes there's tightness in the hip contributing to that pain. So I'm going to have you roll into your stomach. Okay. We're going to take your right leg and bring it off the table, and it can be right on the ground. Okay. Yep. Left leg's on the table. From here, you're going to reach back with your hand to grab your ankle and pull it towards your buttock. And this will give you a stretch in the front of the thigh. And another important thing for both the Achilles tendinosis and the plantar fasciitis is to do some strengthening. So I'm going to have you come onto the step with both feet. Your heels are going to sink down so that you're getting a little bit of a pre-stretch. From here, you're going to keep both knees straight. You're going to come up onto your toes. Stay up on your toes and raise your right leg. And from there, lower your left leg down and you would repeat that. So you'd bring your right foot back down, you'd come up on two legs, pick up the right leg, drop down on just the left, and again repeat coming up on two legs. It takes a little coordination to first get this one down, but this one you would repeat 10 to 15 repetitions. The clinics will be held every Tuesday until race day from noon to one. For more information, head to our website, fox11online.com and click on Good Day Wisconsin.